So I came across a video titled Star Jones Kicks Racist Lawyer from her show. And so I thought that sounds pretty interesting and so I thought I'd watch it. And I watched it and um you know, at first I thought, wow, you know, she's like really overreacting. I don't think that's what the guy was what the guy was saying. But then, you know, watching the two people she had on afterwards talk about what he said and just listening to what he said again, I, I listened to it a couple more times. I realized, you know, what it actually to me I thought it was racist because you could hear the, the, you know, just the underlying tone of racism in what he said. But here's the clip. I'm, I'm just wondering what you would think. Right, here's the clip. On yesterday's show, you saw me talking to the attorney for Kelsey Peterson, a 25-year-old teacher who is charged with crossing into Mexico to have sex with an eighth grade student. A few minutes into that interview, that lawyer, James Martin Davis, began making statements about the minor that made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. And for the first time in the history of this program, I cut him off on purpose. Take a look. So if he's 13 years old now, I'm on, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on whether or not, I don't know this age thing, and I'm sure that that is something that you and your investigators are working hard to try to clear up. But you have to tell me, if he is a child, how does a child consent to go with a grown woman to go have sex? Help well, I resent that the term child. I mean, I, you're babyfying this kid. This kid is a Latino a machismo teenager. Wait a minute, hold on. James, wait a minute now. Excuse me, my little, my little antenna went off, counselor, when you say he's a Latino what? Very machismo. I mean, he's, a, he's, he's manly. Okay, now you done now you done made me mad. I'm gonna have to touch you off. What do you mean he's manly? If he is under 16, he is still a child according is there to the anybody law. Anybody in the world that has a higher sex drive than a, a teenage boy? Am I on the television with racist? I mean, don't put me on TV with somebody gonna make a racist statement on my show. A, I don't think so, sir. Let me tell you something. A how boy, dare how is you? That no, how dare you call somebody a Latino machismo as if to suggest that the young man just because of his Hispanic background ha is is of some nah, 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 no nah. you know what goodbye get rid of him I'm not having that not on the show that still bears my name that will not happen so you know at first I was watching and I was like god you know she overreacted but then I thought about it and I thought it was it wasn't so much the use of the word machismo which if I'm not mistaken I think just means like overly masculine or, or something like that it was the use of the word Latino before it at least for me it was the use of the word Latino before like why why do you need to put the word Latino in front of it? you could have said the kid is very machismo he's older he's bigger he's very masculine but he threw the word Latino in front of it and and I under and I I, I get it I get what she's saying you know it somehow suggests that okay you know He's a he's a Latino kid, you know. He's he's bigger. He's you know more into sex, you know. You know how those kids are. And I and I saw the racism, and it was just it was it, it like I said, it was underlying. It was faint, but you once someone kind of points it out, you hear it. And I I think she made a good point um, with an with an expert from a university. Also, uh, here's what she said to him. If the protagonist in this case, the defendant, the accused, was a Latin man. And the person who was the victim in the case was a young white girl. We would not be having this discussion. Do you think, Mark? Well, of course we wouldn't. They'd be under the jail right now. But the difference here is that black and brown people and little girls who are black and brown, and particularly little boys who are black and brown, they don't make compelling victims to people because this history of controlling images and stereotypes about these people suggests that they're oversexed. They always want. They can never be victims. They're not innocent. They're immoral. And when you have these stereotypes that still govern our perceptions, then when, when the roles are as they are, nobody seems to care. And immigrants... So and I and then I listened to that and I thought, wow, that that's actually a good point. It's that it's like, if you did reverse the roles, if this was different, if it was, you know, it wasn't a, an older white female teacher molesting a younger, you know, Latino boy, but it was an older Latino male teacher molesting a young white girl. I don't think there would have even been a question. So it it was weird. I, I saw it and I was like, wow, you know, they're there was that hint of racism and it was it was weird because I didn't I didn't even notice it at first um, she also made one final point that I thought was really good here's that and I, I just thought this was a really really good point to make especially about this because it comes up so much you know with teachers and students being molested and the issue of illegal immigration also but I 
I don't want us to be a country where you can treat undocumented people, or if you want to be mean-spirited and just call them illegal aliens, you can't treat people as if the law does not apply. You can't say, I'm going to hang a sign on someone who is in our country illegally. Come beat me up, come rob me, come sexually assault me, because I don't have access to the courts, and no one's going to blame you for it. That's exactly right, and I... You know, and it was when I watched it, and I thought one of the cool things about just watching that video was I saw something neat that I thought was something I'd like to see more in the future, at least. Was someone outside of the race that was being targeted with the racism standing up for them? I thought that was awesome. I mean, I think when one race stands up for themselves, that's great. But it was nice to see, you know, Star Jones, you know, a black woman standing up for a Latino male kid I thought that was awesome it was like it, it no longer matters if you're talking about my race it's that you're it's that someone else is being the victim of injustice and I'm gonna stand up for that person no matter what they look like no matter where they came from and I thought that was awesome I just thought it was absolutely incredible but so I was just wondering I was just wondering what you guys thought I was wondering if uh, anybody thought that was racist or if she was overreacting if I was wrong yeah I I I saw the racism. It was just weird. I, I didn't see it at first.